do-it-yourself topographic survey. GPS surveying is the way to do it. Topographic survey we can use, for example, measure your fence, get the property lines. But also, in the construction and the civil engineering, it's also important to find out, if you look a little bit around here, for example, street work. Your excavator is going to dig a straight line. How much or how deep did he excavate? How easy can you use GPS surveying for that? But also, for example, if you want to place a light pole, where well, exactly do you know where it is? This is why we can use GPS surveying. Besides placing this light pole, for example, we also need to know where the cable is located. Where does it go to the main central point? Um, also, drainage. For example, eh, a lot of rain is here. Water goes to the drainage point. Nobody ever know where all the underground sewer system is. That's why we use topographic survey. And the right way is, of course, using GPS. What do you need for topographic survey, especially GPS survey? I've brought our kit with us. The carbon GPS rod. It contains a carbon GPS rod. You can attach it together. Then within the GPS kit itself. Let me open it first. In this case, we find the GNS receiver, the Amlet Reach R2. Then, it's already connected, a tablet holder. A rugged tablet, and in our case, the Abloss Armor. And on this tablet, we have the software the land surveying software, the Eplos Survey Wizard. Also, a very important thing, everybody needs to know where you are, so please wear a vest or at any time make sure anybody notices you once you start surveying on a roadside. So, let's make sure the GPS system is complete. I'll screw on the Reach R2, press on. Get the rugged tablet and the tablet holder. Get the tablet on. Standing up is better, right? Attach the tablet holder to the carbon rod. Meanwhile, the software is starting up. So, my GPS kit is ready, but not completely. I pressed on on the Reach R2, and now I have to connect the software with the Reach R2. So, before I'm going to measure something I already explained in many videos and prior to this, everything you measure has a name, otherwise nobody knows what you have measured. So, I go to the layer manager, on top I press add a layer, I'm going to call this one light, and I'm going to add a color which is blue, press ok, again press ok, meanwhile the R2 is pointing out that he already has an RTK with 19 satellites which you can see in the left corner. Okay, I'm going to press next to the layer manager the zero, and there I see the one light which I added, which I entered before. That's right. And a little bit on a straight way, and then to measure a point, I press point. So measuring this also means I can measure a straight line survey a straight line first of all i again is what i mentioned again in many videos everything you uh, survey has a name so again 
entering and adding to the layer manager a new item. Uh, let's say this is pavement. I'm going to select the color, which in this case will be a yellow. Press OK. Again, press OK. I'm selecting this straight line next to the pavement. And I'm going to select next to the layer manager pavement. But because I want to survey a straight line, every line starts with a point or a dot. So, pressing a point, and now I'm going to walk straight because this is a straight line. This is the end of the straight line, and I'm going to press the line. And as you can see in the screen, a line appears. And this line is called, in the layer, pavement. Next issue, of course, I want to measure an arc. I already made up the layer. Again, I call it pavement. And as you all might know, any arc consists of three points. Starting point, middle point, end point. So, what I'll do. This is the beginning of my arc, which runs up to there. I start. Again, with a point, I walk up to the center, actually the middle, of the arc. I'm going to press line, because in the end I'm still drawing, actually, or measuring a line. And then I walk all the way up to the end of the arc. Just make sure it stands a little bit straight. And I press arc. And as you can see in the screen, we have an arc. A polyline. Polyline already consists of the word poly, it means multiple lines which we can connect. So the difference between just using a line and a polyline is that lines appear, even if you can connect it within a CAD program, just as loose lines, they are still connected, and polyline is the opposite, it connects everything. So I'm going to now survey a polyline. Again, I'm going to this way, because it's also a straight line. It starts again with a point. I'm going to walk all the way this way. And I press polyline. And as you can see, appearing in the screen is a polyline. And what I'm going to do next is attach another polyline to this previous polyline. And again, I press polyline. As you can see, two lines are connected. A polyline. So the next thing is very interesting. It's a polygon. So, let me show you how to do that. Already se selected again pavement. And I'm going to measure this triangle. I start again, of course, with a point. I'm going to walk all the way up to this part. I'm not going to use the icon polygon yet. I'm going to use the polyline. Walking all the way up to this one. Again, I'm going to use only line. And then I'm going to walk back to the first point I already surveyed. And then I'm going to use polygon. So, in the end of the day, I, have, I was surveying a lot. And then, of course, I want to save it. How do I do that? We go to the menu. New, open, uh, save, import, etc. And there I see the topic save. I press save. In this screen, I want to save it actually as a DXF, which I can use in a CAD program. And I select this. I'm going to select DXF. As you can see, we are in the Netherlands. ETRS, RD NetTrans, and, met and meters. And then I need to select the folder. 
and in this case I will select the download folder in the Rocket tablet. Below that I need to enter a name. I'm going to call it test1. Of course you can enter any name you want, but in my case I'm going to call it test1. Press the OK button. And the other issue is I also want to send it immediately by a Gmail or an any other uh, account for sending emails straight to the office. So I'm going to tick the box next to the small paper airplane. And then I'm going to select OK. And in the bottom what you can see actually, well in this case I already have the Gmail. I open Gmail and now I can enter any Gmail account I want and you can see it actually it already attaches the file called test1. I'm going to do that now. I already saved it on the tablet and I also as a backup for myself I have sent the DXF back to the office. A special topic in Topographic Survey is how to survey your fence or property line. Please check out this video left or right to me in how to topographic survey your fence or property line.